The reason we went down the Imagine route was the IP3 itself. The hardware is fantastic. NEP UK are a large provider of broadcast facilities and services in the UK and Ireland, basically, offering not only OB trucks, fly packs, editing facilities, managed services, and anything on the broadcast world, really. We have a total of four trucks on site, providing three lots of court coverage and a presentation coverage. We also have various fly pack areas, so we've got another seven galleries down there which provide court coverage one for a presentation type service and two other broadcasters. Speed of deployment is in, you know, probably the most important thing from our point of view, on, in particular on fly packs, because it's just so much more reliable. If you consider in the old days, multi-viewers would be separate, synchronous, everything would be a separate piece of kit, each with interconnecting wires, which means the possibility of incorrectly connected interconnecting wires. So you open the box up, Theoretically, it's where you left it. It's all there. It should all just work and pretty much does. All of our systems here this year are based around Imagine IP3 router frames, mainly because of its well, flexibility, the fact that it's a self-contained system almost with your multi-viewers built in, frame stores, all the processing you'd normally need to be within there is within there really. I think we've got a total of eight 28 RU frames here and one of the smaller 15 RU units plus multiple quantities of the glue. The glue is, you know, the hundreds and hundreds of DAs and embedders, etc. So this came online about a month ago, and basically it's about a thousand square feet. The whole thing is based around a pair of Imagine IP3 router frames, which we've split. So two of the 4K levels are done off one side, two off the other, and the monitoring off the same one as the second two quads as well. So we can do cope with two SI or quadrant based 4K and HD at the same time if that's what you want as well, or mix and match it. Connectivity is another reason we chose the IP3. Certainly on the fibre side, enabling us to connect the trucks together with a bunch of CWDM SFP modules and allowing us to basically share feeds between the truck, reducing rig time dramatically. Basically, instead of in, uh, where we'd have two or 300 coaxes going between the trucks, it's now two multi-core fibres, less room for error, and just a whole lot smoother from our point of view.